Well, 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 one of the stocks that I had avidly been discussing on my channel over the past couple of months, STEM, is now up all of a sudden over 90% over the past one month. Guys, this is a pretty big development in the stock market. And in this video, I want to address exactly what I'm doing with my position in this company. I have been an avid buyer of this company since 2021, but in 2022, I started going extremely heavy. And I did also make a couple of videos over the past couple of months on this company. I made one back in April where I said that this could be my next 2x stock because of the massive tailwinds that this company is facing. And also I made one just last month where I was talking about some of the clean energy stocks that I'm buying the dip on when the stock market was performing very poorly. But obviously now the market has rallied and some of my stocks are starting to see some great gains, which obviously leads to the question as to whether or not we should be buying, selling, or just holding these stocks. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to address in this video with STEM. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So the first thing we want to address is the major catalyst that has led so many of these clean energy stocks to the moon. We all know that the Inflation Reduction Act was just recently signed into law by Biden after being passed by Congress. But it does seem like a lot of people still don't understand exactly the ramifications this law is going to have over the next couple of years, which I'm sure many people are still underestimating. Well, let's actually have a summary of this law and understand exactly what it's going to do for our favorite clean energy stocks, especially something like STEM. Well, as you can see, the main goal of this bill right now is to lower the energy cost for Americans. And this is why the name of this act is the Inflation Reduction Act. I know many people are making fun of the fact that this thing is supposed to reduce inflation when CPI is at 8 or 9%. Well, those people don't realize that this act is supposed to be a long-term inflation reduction portion, not a short-term inflation reduction portion. So essentially what that means is we're going to be increasing our energy independence and investing in clean energy manufacturing domestically. This is going to impact clean energy stocks like electric vehicles, batteries, and green hydrogen companies the most, because obviously that is where most of the innovation and most of the capex is taking place in the economy today. Following that, we're going to have a lot of decarbonization taking place through federal support for new innovation in the climate sector. So this is going to lead likely to more and more companies coming out in the space, which obviously will increase competition, but it will also increase the benefit that some of the early movers in the stage have. And obviously STEM and some of the public companies in the clean energy space on the market today are going to be one of those first movers in this industry which again should play very well in the hands of their future revenue and as a result, their share prices. But obviously that's not it. We have a big, big portion of rebate programs and tax credits also coming the way of most consumers. Around $9 billion worth is going to go into home energy rebate programs, which is going to help basically increase the energy efficiency of most of the current households. We're also going to see consumer tax credits come back along with obviously tax credits for the lower middle class and for EVs, especially new and used. But obviously the most important part for me at least and for STEM is going to be this $1 billion grant program, which is going to make housing more energy efficient. Well, why is STEM going to be a key player in this? Well, for those that don't know, STEM is a company that sells energy storage products. They essentially sell a lithium ion battery storage system that can be used with a solar farm or a wind farm to be able to increase your independence from the electric grid. It will essentially allow you to capture renewable energy much more effectively than other conventional storage systems and also obviously reduce your dependence on the electric grid while allowing you to have that backup power functionality and also more effectively integrate your clean energy portfolio into your grid. And obviously, energy storage is expected to be one of the fastest growing industries over the next decade or so. And given the fact that STEM is in the top four in North America when it comes to energy storage systems sold by volume, this company is going to benefit quite massively from that very, very aggressive trend. I know many people laugh at the fact that these clean energy technologies are only going to become profitable with the help of the government. 
But the reality is that that is simply not the case, because in the long term, the cost of these clean energy technologies are going to come down and they are going to at some point overtake oil and gas. But the problem is that today, the need for these technologies is significantly urgent. We have way too many natural and geographic problems taking place from hurricanes to wildfires and to major climate change issues across the entire world, as we are seeing in Europe today, that it's way too late to be able to just wait until these technologies become cost effective and that they become extremely mainstream in the industry. It's significantly more important to make sure we take action today so that we can save the generations of tomorrow when it comes to the impact climate change is going to have. This is not an argument about taxes. This is not an argument about rebates or incentives and how it's going to affect inflation in the long term or the middle class or the lower class. This is a humanitarian problem overall. Many people, in my opinion, are just not realizing this. The landscape, in my opinion, is significantly changing over the next couple of years, especially up until 2030, which is when we expect a 40% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Guys, 40% is a major deal. Even 1% a year tends to be a very big accomplishment for most companies. So 40% across the entire US is going to take a lot of effort. And it's going to be these companies you're seeing on the screen, and obviously a lot of my portfolio that are going to make these changes happen. And that is exactly why I'm investing in them. And based on the fantastic earnings report that somebody like STEM reported just a few days ago, it's quite clear that mainstream America is taking on this massive climate change charge very seriously. As you can see, STEM reported quarterly revenue at around 5% over their high end guidance. This is pretty impressive given the macroeconomic situation we're in today. And if you pair that with the fact they raised their bookings and compound annual revenue rate guidance, this is a pretty big deal. And given the fact that this stock is only trading at a price of sales of right now at around $11 and a current PE of around 22, it really goes to show this stock has potentially a lot more upside than even the price it is trading at today. And that is a big reason why I continue to be a buyer in the stock and not a seller. Yes, I am up over 50 to 60% of my position, and it's really nice to see your thesis being validated in the short term. But again, for me, this is a much bigger picture problem. I'm not just investing to make money, I'm investing to support a good cause. As cringy and as cliche as that sounds, that is essentially what I'm doing. I think this is a once in a lifetime kind of investment opportunity. We have never really seen so much tailwinds for one particular problem. So many companies coming out together to solve one particular problem, which is obviously climate change. And that's a big reason why I think these companies will be the next internet companies, the next oil and gas companies for the future. And the funny thing is that STEM is not even including this Inflation Reduction Act in their financial guidance for the future, which leaves potentially a lot more price target upgrades to come and more institutional investments in the stock as companies and hedge funds try to broaden their investment portfolio into the clean energy sector, which as we all know, should perform very well given the massive tailwinds provided by this specific bill. And the key idea here is that with this kind of growth rate at 246%, STEM's price to sales ratio is essentially going to be cut in half for 2022, which is going to put it at around $5 a share. In my opinion, that is very cheap for a company that's growing in such a big total addressable market. For example, somebody like Enphase Energy, which is also one of the leaders in the clean energy sector, is trading at a price of sales of 22. And that's after this company's stock has gone up over 100% over the past year or so. And as you can see, the PE is around 206 with a Ford PE at 59. And obviously, this company is already significantly developed. And so an early stage company, a first mover company like STEM, potentially deserves an even higher multiple if they're able to reach that break even stage, which I would see Enphase has. And given the technical resources and acquisitions that somebody like STEM has been doing over the past couple of years, there is no doubt in my mind that this company can do that. They have one of the best engineering teams on board in the form of also energy. And they also have one of the highest margin softwares on board in the form of Athena, which is essentially an artificial intelligence mapping platform. This is going to be selling at an 80% gross margin compared to their 20 to 30% gross margins on their battery units, which obviously makes this company much more of a software company 
than it does a hardware company. And that right there is going to play very well in the hands of the long-term growth of this company. But as usual, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of STEM stock. Are you a buyer or are you a seller of this company today? I'd be very much interested in hearing your guys' opinions. But as usual, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.